Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice Hall of Fame Prism Glow with the Delphic Optical Assembly um, Lobe that I got from <clears throat> that I got from my school when like only like yesterday when they when they converted all the lights to all these lights to these hideous black uh, flying saucer UFO LED things. I'm sorry, I don't sound very good, so I have a cold. Um, it says right here, Prism Glow Delphic. With the, that's the optical assembly. And um, I did give this a good clean. I did, it had some ladybugs in it. Disgusting. And um, the, this, and the, this I, I didn't really clean this bit, but uh, I think... I think this this thing looks really good, and I also think it was like quite overbuilt. Um, well, let's let's set this let's set this down, and um, actually, can we see that? Um, set this down, and um, I'm gonna make sure that, that the little glass thing doesn't rattle around too much. Yes, it, there's a little glass thing in there. Um, there we go. Now. Now let's look inside. And uh, e e here, here we are. Um, the, the, here's the lamp I have installed. It is a Philips 200 watt um, incandescent lamp. And um, it used to be 175 watt metal halide, but the ballast was one of those F can style ones. And uh, yeah, it was. And I, I put a reducer in it. It was just abandoned, like the. The, the Hall of Fame, the, the ballast that was powering this was just abandoned in the ceiling when the LEDs were installed. The wires were just cut and it was just abandoned in the ceiling. So, yeah. Um, it says relamp. Uh, there we go. But in reality, you could put anything you want in this as long as you have the correct ballast. I don't have a ballast. I'm not going to... I don't have a ballast. It did come with a lamp. It came with a... Hang on, let me... Let me get it. It came with a Philips 175 watt probe start metal halide lamp. Here it is. It came with this and um, 175 watts RM57E made in India and uh, looks like it's quite a good quality lamp as far as as far as construction goes. So um, yeah, well. Let's put let's put this let's prop this thing back up and watch it turn on for the first time since it was removed from it from the building it was installed in. Incidentally, this the building the school was built in about the the nineteen eighties. So um, yeah, this light is quite old. Here's the glass thing. I thought it couldn't be removed, but actually it's a little pinched. But so that's nice. I didn't know that. Um, I was just carrying this thing around while that was like rattling around inside and. Well, it's good that I can remove it. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna put this aside here, and uh, well, let's turn the lights off and uh, be able to watch this thing turn on since it was last removed from the building. So three, two, one. That looks really nice. Like the optical assembly look is like really good, and uh, yeah, it, this thing like looks good with metal halide, but it also looks stunning with incandescent, and. Um, probably uh, and probably like a a lower color temperature like maybe a a, tw a 2200k <clears throat> led filament lamp would probably would probably also look really good in it so anyways that is the hall of fame prism glow um hot, uh, low bay from my school thanks for watching